In question three, just like in the previous two questions, we have to solve the following set of equations. The only difference between the equations in this question and the previous questions is that in in the equations in this question, the variables are all uh, coming on the right side. For example, in the first question, the variable p is on the right side of the equation, but that doesn't really matter. Um, the LHS and the RHS could be interchanged, and the equation will not change. Okay. So let's start with the first equation, which is four is equal to five times p minus two. Now, as the first step, we can get rid of this uh, five by dividing both sides of the equation by five. So if we do that, we will get four by five on the left side. On the right side, we will get p minus two. Now the next next step could be to get rid of this minus two, and to do that we could transpose it to the left side so that it becomes plus two. So we will get four by five plus plus two is equal to p. So we have basically separated out the variable p and hence found its value. So p is equal to four by five plus two, which we can write as four by five plus ten by five. um taking the lcm so this is equal to 14 by 5 so the solution of the equation in part a is p is equal to 14 by 5 all right now let's do part b in part b the equation is minus 4 is equal to 5 times p minus 2 so as the first step we will get rid of this 5 by dividing both sides of the equation by 5 So if we do that on the LHS we will get minus four by five, on the RHS we will get p minus two. Now we will take this minus two term and transpose it to the left side so that it becomes plus two. So we will get minus four by five plus two is equal to p. So we have basically separated out p and hence found its value. So the value of p is minus four by five. Minus four by five plus two, and I can write two as ten by five, taking the LCM. So minus four plus ten is six. So we get six in the numerator and five in the denominator. So the solution of the equation in part B is that p is equal to six by five. Okay, now in part C, the equation is minus sixteen is equal to minus five times two. Minus p. So first, we will get rid of this minus five by dividing both sides of the equation by minus five. If we do that, we get on the LHS we get minus sixteen by minus five, which I can write as simply sixteen by five. And on the RHS we have two minus p. Now in the next step, we can take this two and transpose it to the left side so that it becomes minus two. So we get sixteen. By five minus two on the LHS and on the RHS we have minus p. All right, now sixteen by five minus two is um, you can take the LCM. Two can be written as ten by five, so sixteen by five minus two uh, can be written as six by five. So six by five is equal to minus p. And now we need the value of p, so we can multiply both sides of the equation by minus one. And change interchange the LHS and the RHS, so we get p is equal to minus six by five. So this is the solution to the equation in part C. P is equal to minus six by five. All right. Now in part D, the equation is ten is equal to four plus three times t plus two. So this is the equation in part D. So first we will take this four and transpose it to the left side so that it becomes minus four, and on the LHS we will therefore have ten minus four, which is six. So six on the LHS and on the RHS we will be left with three times t plus two. Now in the next step we will we will take uh, we need to get rid of this three so we can divide both sides of the equation by three. So on the LHS we will get six by three, which is two. On the RHS we will get t plus Okay. Now, in the last step, uh, we will take this two and plus two and transpose it to the left side so that it becomes minus two. 
so on the left side we have 2 minus 2 which is 0 and on the right side we have t so the solution so we get 0 is equal to t which is the same thing as t is equal to 0 so the solution of uh, the equation in part d is that t is equal to 0 in part e now the equation is 28 is equal to 4 plus 3 times t plus 5 so this is our equation first we will take this 4 and get rid of this we will transpose it to the left side uh, so that it becomes minus 4 so on the left side we will have 28 minus 4 which is 24 on the right side we will have 3 times t plus 5 now in the next step we want to get rid of this 3 so we can divide both sides of the equation by 3 so on the left side we get 24 by 3 which is 8 on the right side we get t plus 5 now in the last step we can take this 5 plus 5 and transpose it to the left side so that it becomes minus 5 so on the left side we get 8 minus 5 which is 3 on the right side we get t so we have separated the variable t and hence the solution of the equation is t equal to 3 so let's write it here the solution is t is equal to 3 okay finally the last part uh, part f the equation is 0 is equal to 16 plus 4 times m minus 6 now first we need to get rid of this 16 to separate m we need to get rid of the 16 so we can take this to the left side transpose it to the left side and make it minus 16 so on the left side we get 0 minus 16 which is actually simply minus 16 on the right side we have 4 times m minus 6 now in the next step we want to get rid of this 4 so we can divide both sides of the equation by 4 so on the left side we have minus 16 by 4 which is minus 4 on the right side we have m minus 6 all right now in the last step we can take this minus 6 transpose it to the left side so that it becomes plus 6 and therefore on the left side we will have minus 4 plus 6 which is 2 and on the right side we will have m so we get our solution the value of m as m is equal to 2 so the answer the solution to the equation in part f is m is equal to 2 and with this we have completed all the parts of question number 3 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers